but when you take into account the reconstructive part of dentistry that you have to recreate to structures this is very similar to what the dental technician does you get composite materials amalgams and then in the mouth you create a filling or you do a prescription for a technician to do a crown and so as a dentist you evaluate that work and so I don't see how you could do that effectively if you don't have uh, if you're not an artist in, the, in that sense. That's mainly why I chose to become a dental technician and that's the first thing I did uh, when I migrated to Miami um, because I saw the, uh, the art, artistic uh, in, in, in becoming a technician. I think there's a there's a connection not only between art and dentistry, but also between uh, art and uh, biology. Many biologists, uh, people that have PhD in biology or chemistry, they recognize that they have uh, an, an artist within them. I did study fine arts for four years with a concentration in fine art painting and so that's what I did over there but once I got to Miami everything changed I had to do things differently that I did before and uh, eventually I I decided to pursue a career in dentistry and that's where I'm at right now I have dedicated so much time to this uh, new field of study that is uh, dentistry and uh, dental related fields and basically that's what I have within me now and so to, for me it, it would just be an, a natural transition to start manifesting that through my art. Uh, this last series that, that we exhibited in the, the Winwood, you can see there's a transition, there is a cohesion between the different pieces. And that's mainly because they all portray a common theme. And that theme is uh, dentistry, the love and passion for teeth and anatomy, and the beauty that emanates from, from those. And not many people see it, but I do see it. And that's, and that's what I feel happy about because I love painting. People are surprised that um, I'm being able to combine those two worlds, two things that I've been passionate about and that, uh, that I have dedicated so much time to. And many people relate to that, you know, being or having to integrate two different things into one. Mainly I paint during my school breaks because I, I'm not that busy with uh, midterms and essays or so and so I have a little more time to go out and paint and dedicate time for the things that I really like the most painting that is I mean of course you want to have the time but as an artist even though if you're not painting all the time you keep maturing as an artist and I've noticed that and I feel happy about it I don't feel frustrated about not being able to to work as an artist full-time, which many people do experience. Many artists do get frustrated, you know, having to migrate to some other countries and not being able to, to paint or to assimilate the new culture. And so that frustration leads to those artists being depressed. I don't feel that way. And for, to me, that, that's success. Not being depressed about the things that I paint. For me, it's just a continuation. And even though I no longer paint the things that I used to, to paint when I was in my native country, I've realized that I'm content, I'm happy with the things that I paint. <laughs>